Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the challenging times over here. So you're going through a, a lot of difficulties at the moment. This is the Five of Rods. So whomever you're dealing with right now, uh, there seems to be a lot of conflict that you are facing and you're having to defend yourself quite a bit. He's holding quite a big shield uh, over his heart chakra. So maybe they're, whatever they're saying, um, is very hard hitting and it's causing a lot of uh, upset and you're having to defend yourself you need to find your balance back again over here with the two of pentacles and you also have to decide what is important for you and what your priorities are so the um, the two of coins is about juggling the coins but having needing to let go of one of the coins so you need to let go of things that are not serving you and focus on that which will make you happier. Uh, so if this situation is not making you happy, it may be a time for you to actually let it go. You've got the balance card as well. So there are two cards about finding balance. So whatever this person is doing, whatever problems you're going through at the moment, you feel a little bit um, you know, disconnected, a little bit out of balance over there. And there is that need for you to heal and to get your balance back again. So what's happened in the past? You've got the spread your wings card over here. So you seem to have made a decision. You've left an old relationship behind and you seem to have moved forward. And you've got the seven um, of swords over here. So there may have been a lot of lies and deception uh, that has come to light. Uh, this is about seeking the truth um, and all this, you know, and being in two minds about things. And maybe you and this person have, have uh, separated. So you've got these two heads back to back. So you've walked away from this particular person and a lot of truth has come to light and there may have been a lot of deception within that particular relationship. So going into the future, you've got the nine of rods over here and you've got the two of swords. So, you know, it looks like, um, you know, you've had to defend yourself quite a bit. There's been a lot of stress and anxiety as well. You're very, very tired. You've had to deal with a lot of problems and a lot of battles and a lot of arguments. It seems like with that two of swords, there's been a lot of conflict. Uh, and, you know, uh, maybe a lot of things have been hidden, so nothing has come to, things have not come to light. Now that they're coming to light, uh, you realize that, you know, this relationship is very, very burdensome as well. Maybe there's a truth that you need to face about this particular relationship, uh, and you're not willing to actually do that. So maybe a need to uh, leave this person behind and move on, but maybe right now you're not really willing to make that decision. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Botticelli Tarot deck for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things are about to change. Uh, it seems like there's been a lot of problems and a lot of challenges that you have been dealing with in this particular relationship. A lot of obstacles. Uh, and, you know, you've been fighting uh, quite a bit to, uh, you know, you've been defending yourself. You're having to stand up for yourself. Maybe you're having to give explanations as to why you're doing things. And this is taking its toll on you. So you're in the Seven of Wands energy, which is about being very defensive, but having to uh, explain every single move that you make, every single thing that you do. And this in itself can be quite tiring. Uh, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over there, so things are about to change. So whatever your energy you've been stuck in, uh, you know, it seems there's a, a lot of conflict in this particular situation. And whatever energy there is, uh, it's about to change. Things are about to move on. Now you've got the Six of Cups over here and you've got the Five of Cups. So the Six of Cups is about making a brand new start somewhere else. You can see there's a baby over there. There's a lot of people around you from a family point of view that are supporting you. Uh, but it looks like you know there might be an offer that comes in for you that you need to accept and move on 
from this particular situation. So, um, you know, the Six of Cups is about maybe even spending a lot of time thinking about the past, maybe too much of time thinking about the past, being stuck in it, stuck in it. maybe even hanging on to the relationship because of what you remember from the past. Uh, but maybe it's time for you to let go of that. Uh, because whatever's happened in this relationship has disappointed you quite a bit. You've been crying, and you know you've been very, very miserable. Uh, and uh, there seems to be—it seems like this particular person has let you down quite badly. Maybe you relied on them, and they didn't come through for you. You've got uh, the Eight of Cups, so you have made a decision that you want to move on. You're still looking at that relationship, and you're looking for—you know—you're trying to make a decision there, and you're looking. You've been looking for reasons for to remain within that relationship. You're trying to find some good left in that relationship so that you can focus on it and remain within that relationship. It seems like there are people around you, maybe family, friends, that are giving you advice, trying to guide you uh, during this. Through this very very difficult situation, uh, so some really good advice coming in for for you, and there's also been some you know divine guidance because the star card is about divine guidance. You're trying to find direction in your life right now. So you've got the eight of wands over here. Things are starting you know you you. Things are starting to move on. Um, you're hoping that you know there's um, you know changes in for positive. Maybe you want a new relationship to come in. Uh, maybe you're trying to make connections uh, with people, trying to open channels of communication with people, and maybe you're hoping for a new love to come in over there. So that's definitely been playing on your mind. Now it looks like it is going to happen. There's a judgment card over here, so you're being called upon to make a decision to move on. You're being called upon. You're at the crossroads in your life, and you're being called upon to leave that old relationship behind and move on. So bury the past. It doesn't seem like you can resurrect this old relationship. It's time for you to uh, decide. Take whatever you've learned from this relationship. And move on, and you'll be given a second chance to start afresh, and maybe something better on the horizon for you. This relationship is at its end; it's at a close. You've got the World card over here. You've been through a lot. The World card is ruled by Saturn, so a lot of lessons and harsh lessons at that have been learnt by you. It seems to it seems you've had to drop all your illusions about what you thought a relationship should be, because this woman is pretty naked there. Uh, you've had to let go of all those ideas that you had about relationships and change the way you you think about things right now. Even with that judgment card, changing your viewpoints, um, and uh, this relationship has come. It's reached its natural conclusion. Uh, you are emerging as something brand new. So you've undergone quite a big transformation. She's coming out of the shell. Uh, it looks like you know you have come out of um, all those illusions, uh, whatever you've. Um, Been thinking of whatever you believed in, you've dropped old belief systems, and you are now somebody that is changed uh, forever by that relationship. So you've got a high priestess over there. Uh, you know you're spending a lot more time by yourself here, but also there is a need for you to keep all your ideas and plans to yourself. You need to also follow your instincts, follow what all the lessons that you've learned, follow your intuition with this high priestess card, and just wait for things to happen. Don't try to force any issues. Things will move. Uh, as they need to, there is divine timing at play here. In your hopes and fears, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Now you feel as though whatever investments you made in this relationship, and you did work very, very hard to try and maintain it. You see, she's carrying heavy burdens over there, heavy responsibilities. But you do feel as though you've been let down, and your whatever you've invested in this relationship has been a waste of your time. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Swords over here, the Justice and the Moon. So if this is a relationship, um, you know that you are married to this particular person, it looks like there is going to be a divorce that comes in. You've got the Ace of Swords cutting out that relationship, making a clean break from it, and using the legal system uh, to bring about that change. So it looks like there's a big change. It looks like there is a definite divorce. Coming in over here, so there's something legal coming in over there, and the Ace of Swords is showing uh, you cutting ties with this particular person. Uh, but you know, it's going to be quite a challenging time that you're going to go through. Uh, there might be a lot of conflict as well. You are prepared for that, uh, but it looks like there's also going to be some kind of legal decision. So it looks like you're going through a divorce over there. Um, and this is going to have its impact on you because you've got the moon card over here. Uh, maybe right now you're feeling really depressed, confused, afraid to actually make a change 
there. But the cycle is ending. You've got the last quarter of the moon, um, and it looks like uh, you know you are about to make a big change in your life, and it involves cutting that relationship out completely, uh, legally, um, you know, um, severing ties with that particular person. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. Wait. You've got the five of Ariel over here, so you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So you're feeling very alone, left out in the cold, very isolated, very miserable, feeling like there's a big loss in your life and feeling very, very insecure. So there are people around you that will give you advice and assistance and help, and you need to get a hold of them and speak to them about it. So turn to your friends, and there are a lot of people that are around you to support you. They are there to guide you. So the second card is the Four of Raphael, and this is seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life, and be aware of your own emotions. So this is about healing. For of Raphael, uh, you know, maybe taking some time out, getting together with friends. Don't isolate yourself from everybody else. And you do need to take some time out to heal. And the last card is the decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back. You need to, le to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So, uh, you know, you can see the, ba the bird... Um, you know, being released from that cage. So whoever this person was that you were involved in, they were very controlling, but it's now going to be a time, a decision is going to be made, and you are going to be released from this particular situation. So getting your freedom back over there. Uh, so time for you to spread your wings. So it looks like you're ending a very, very difficult situation, um, and it looks like it's going to be a, uh, a divorce that comes through, some kind of legal ending to that situation. Uh, you need to keep all your plans or whatever you're thinking about doing to yourself, but also follow your own inner guidance uh, when you're doing things um, as well. And, you know, this, this seems to be a natural conclusion. Uh, it seems to be a karmic ending to this particular relationship. Uh, make a decision, let go of the past, and move on. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.